So I just want everybody to know that my camera broke, so I'm going to have to use this camera quality for the next month. So sorry for the bad quality. I promise I'll have 1080p again very soon. We now have official early reactions to Thor Love and Thunder, and I got to say I am not surprised actually. And actually pretty surprised at the same time. So before I get into these reactions, make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think will be your expectations for Thor Love and Thunder. Will it flop or will it be good? Okay, so the reviews are in and they are 98% positive, which is actually really good. Considering Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was actually a little bit more mixed, when I look back at it, like it was like a lot of mixed reactions going on with that. But the early reactions for the premiere of this movie, really good actually. And a lot of people are also calling it the best of phase four, which I wanna to put too much emphasis on that and I'll get into it. But ultimately this does give me more hope for this movie considering the fact that I thought it looked average and I'm only looking forward to seeing Gore the God Killer. Uh, but I'm excited to see what they do with this movie and I'm excited to see what directions they go with these characters and specifically Jane Foster because I know they're probably going to do some stuff with her that I'm hoping that they do but if they don't do it then it may let me down a little bit ruin my overall enjoyment of the movie because then I won't have like a uh, I told you so moment it's just like more of like a you know I just want them to take more risks the reason why I want to put too much emphasis on these high rated reviews too is also because Marvel has a tendency to do this type of stuff where they have early reactions come in and everybody's saying it's the best of all time and the greatest thing ever and all that. And then the general audience goes to see it and like, it's I. Right. Ultimately, I am not discouraging any one of you guys from seeing this movie. I'm just saying for me personally, I'm going in a little bit reserved still, even though I'm happy to see that's probably going to do well. Uh, I still look at a lot of stuff. If there's issues in this movie that I see, I'm going to tell you guys about these issues. That's just that's just me. And I always keep it honest with you guys all the time. So if it's not any good in my eyes, I will tell you guys it's not any good in my eyes. If I think it's really amazing and is the best of phase four, I will tell you it's the best of phase four. We'll all have to see, right? I mean, that's all we can do because we're just going based off of reactions and people saying it's the best thing. And uh, a lot of people are also saying that it's like Ragnarok, I guess, amplified a bit more, which that's also why I'm a little bit concerned too because I thought Ragnarok was mid to just decent. I didn't think it was that great. I honestly, a lot of people, I think overhyped it because I remember seeing it in the theaters, my reaction the entire time was just... Hopefully not the case with this one. So thank you guys for watching the video. And remember, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe today to join the Azalization.